Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Designing for Fun on VIP Art Digital Art Channel. My name is Catalin and I'm a designer for fun. In today's video, let's create together comic book drawing effects in Photoshop fast and easy and then we try to apply them for our Redbubble products. So without further ado, let's start designing. Okay, welcome back to my computer. So here as you see I'm already in pixabay.com and here I download three images that I want to play around with them. So let's start working. So let's bring this uh, one into Photoshop. So let's see how we can create fast and easy uh, comic book drawings in Photoshop. So what we want to do with this one, we're gonna right click and we're gonna convert it to a smart object. And then we're gonna make two copies of it. The top one we're gonna call it outline and the second one we're gonna call we're gonna call it color. Okay? This one we're gonna name it place your design here. This is a template for us so we're gonna use it as a reference. Okay? Now this one we're gonna hide it, we're gonna hide it. We're gonna work with the top one for this outline. Now the first thing that we want to do we're gonna go to filter and here we're gonna choose filter gallery first thing that we want here under artistic folder let's collapse it we're gonna choose poster and edges now under poster and edges let's see you can't really see my settings so I'll bring it down a little bit so under poster and settings here on the side we have poster edges and this is what we want and let's play around here, as you can see, what this effect does, it posterizes the image. Posterize the image means it only shows a, a specific number of colors. It will only show the dominant colors inside your image. So we, in our case, we have white, orange, and black. Okay? If we increase posterization, we add more colors inside. And let's find something that works very well for us, probably a tube. So a tube gives us a really nice effect give us uh, the main uh, color white and provides two, two different variations of the shading and that's really cool. Now here we control the edge that will be around our image. Edge thickness, how thick it will be. So if I go all the way up they will get quite thick and I don't want this at least not for this effect so probably I'll go maybe to two. And edge intensity, how many edges we should we show. So for this one, I'll go for three and then we're going to click OK. Well, so far, so good. We have this. We, uh, we highlighted some edges that if we have to draw them, it will take a long, long time. The next thing that we want to do is to make this image into black and white because as you see, we call it outlines and we want to play around with the settings. So for that, we're going to go to image adjustment and we choose threshold. Now this threshold only plays with two colors, with the black color and the white color. By default it's 128, this means we are in the middle. If you are dragging this to the, to the left, sorry, if you are dragging this to the right, we are bringing more black inside. If you are dragging this to the left, it's the opposite, more white. So let's bring out more white, because we need the edges. Okay, and let's see how much shall we go. If you are going too much, you're going to lose a lot of details, so that's not something that we want. But I can probably stop somewhere around here. Mm, I, do, I do take the eye as a reference, so probably something like here looks okay. If the other wants to be black, it's no problem. Let's experiment more. 39, 29. Mm. Let's try 58 and then let's click OK. So we have done this for our design. Next thing that we want to do, we want to play a little bit with those lines because if we zoom in, we can see these lines are very pixelated and quite rough. And it's not something that we really want, isn't it? So let's play around with them. So for that, we're going to go to filter and stylize and we choose oil paint. Now what does this do? This one will kind of smooth out everything that we have. So let's click on the preview and we get this nice looking fine lines. And here we can play around. 
let's stylize the lines to see what we have. If you are going all the way here is how the image looked like in the beginning. If you go all the way to maximum, we get lines like this. Very long, smooth lines. But let's try to find something in the middle. And probably something like this. We can play with the clickness. Something like this. And the scale and the others are low. Make sure, if by default you have the lighting checked, make sure you uncheck it because the lighting will add some extra details that we don't need for this effect. Okay, so let's play a little bit more. Let's see, cleanness all the way. Nice to rough. So probably something like this. And then let's click OK. And we finish right now with the outline. And we're going to have something like this. Perfect. Now let's hide this layer and go to the color. Now for the color, we're going to do something similar as we did before. And what do I mean? We're going to go to filter. Uh, we're going to choose uh, filter gallery. And here again, poster edge. But this time we want to get rid of the edges and only keep the colors. So how to do that? Let's drag this down. Here, where we have edge thickness, zero. Edge intensity is zero. And posterization, we let it the same. So now what we have done, we remove all the edges and only kept the colors. And we're gonna click OK. Another thing that we want to do, we're gonna go to filter. And here we're gonna choose again, stylize, oil paint. And we let the same settings as before. And then we're gonna click OK. And now this is finished. Let's go back to the outline. Let's highlight it. And now, because here we only have two colors, black and white, we want to get rid of the white, but we want to keep the black. So what to do? We're gonna to go to the blending mode. And under the blending mode, right now on the outline is normal. So let's change it to multiply. So voila, we have created this cool looking design. And uh, again, even though we finish it and it looks amazing, let's, let's select them by holding shift and let's group them. And let's call this effect. Okay. Let's see how it looked like before and after. So here, if you want, you can play around with the results. So let's go to the threshold and let's see what happened if I drag this a little bit more. Something like maybe to 23. And let's click OK. As you can see, I'm getting rid of more lines and I bring this effect to be even better looking. Just create a new layer if you want, hold control, option, shift and E, or command option, shift and E. And what we have done, we have created a preview layer with everything that we have done. But why we want that? Well, let's try to find out. So here, uh, I have downloaded from internet, from Redbubble, and by the way, I will leave a link down in the description if you want to learn how to do that. I have downloaded some templates directly from Redbubble that allows me to preview uh, my design on their products faster. And let me see where I put them. And uh, these ones, all three, I will just drag them inside, increase the size by holding Alt. Okay, and let's do the same for this one. Oops. Okay, and for the last one, okay. And let's see how our, will our new looking design will look like on them. So let's hide this and let's see on the phone. Control or Command T. And uh, let's place it around. So for example, if I want to place my design here, this is what I will get. That looks pretty cool. And by the way, we can create a background if we want. And uh, let me very fast to fill this sideways with white. So I'll just make select this, uh, DX, tara, and let's do the same here. So we have a quick, nice preview. And inside of this, I can choose, for example, a desired color. So probably I can go for a darker blue. And let's see how it looks like. Oops. Darker blue and let's fill in and this is how my design will look like here. Okay, still some areas that I need to fix.
here I need to mask it because this image was downloaded directly from Pixabay. It still had some transparent things, so I haven't spent any time to adjust it. But if you want, you can always drag it in. Let's see if I want it to place here. What can I do for the lower part? Well, let's see if we can fix that. So we can go to the edit and we're gonna choose content aware scale and let's drag it. Let's drag this down by holding shift. So as you can see, I can drag without when the image starts stretching, especially the head, we want to let go and click OK. And then we're gonna do it again. Hold shift, let's drag it down. And we get something like this, almost perfect. So if you understand my point of view, you can place your design as you wish. Here, this part, I can easily remove it by creating a mask. And voila, we have created our design. Let's see what, and how it will look like on the other products. Let's see, if I put it on a t-shirt, and let's see, because this t-shirt is a graphic t-shirt, this means I can place it down and increase the size. And this one looks awesome. Probably something like this. And I would love to wear this kind of t-shirt. Maybe if I don't like the black color, no problem. I can change the color to a white color. Oops, a white color. And let's fill in. Let's see how it looks like on a white t-shirt. Perfect. So this is a nice and cool way to create. Let's see with black color, still very good. And again, you can always change the color of your main design by going to image, adjustment, and hue and saturation. And from here, you can get different designs. Ooh, nice, isn't it? Or if you want, you can choose colorize and you're gonna color everything. Now, let's see, here I wrote place your design here, but why? Let's get, let's delete this one. That's just a preview layer. Let's drink this below and let's hide this too. Here where I wrote place your design here, let's double click on it and we have this new layer and here let's drag another design. So I download this bulldog and this dog. The bulldog I don't have, no, it doesn't have a transparent layer, so I have to remove it, but let's bring this dog inside. Okay, right now I won't make any modification whatsoever. Hit enter, let's hide the previous one and let's save it. Now, as you can see, the dog already got colorized. All the filter apply to them really fast and really easy. And again, we can just go to our products and let's see how they look like. If I put it on the phone, uh, before we put it on the, on the phone, let's um, hide the background. We hide everything, but we only keep the effect and the place on. Select both of them, control, control, option, shift and E. We make uh, the preview of both of them. And now let's bring our elements and let's play around with the design. Let's see how it looks like. And this is nice because does, this one does look like a drawing. Mm -hmm. yeah, it looks quite nice. And if I want to only focus on a specific area, I can increase the size of it. Let's see, I want only to put this part on the phone. And by the way, uh, next week I'll make um, the design placement ideas for uh, phone cases and skins. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel as well. So voila, you, have, you can have this kind of effect and behind of it you can put a sunset. Let's see how it will look like on a t-shirt. Again, you can just place it somewhere like this, upwards, or you can place it down and here you can write a text on the top of it. And again, this one, you are not always restricted to these colors. If you want, you can just apply an adjustment layer on the top of it by clicking adjustment layer. Click uh, vibrance, for example, let's increase the vibrance saturation. And also here you can boost up the saturation as well to, to get different kind of effects. But again, don't go all the way to the maximum because it will look really str strange on a t-shirt. Or you can just go all the way to black and white, your choice. So. This is a really nice, cool way to do it. And let's see, can we apply this on already existing uh, image with background? So let's double click, double click here, let's hide this, and let's take this image that has a white background behind of it. Okay, so we bring this one here and let's fill the white with a white color as well. And uh, it won't let me, so I have to rasterize it. 
and that's white white and now we have this and we're just gonna save it and let's see the changes let's bring them up so this is what we get and it looks really cute and adorable isn't it and now uh, right now this one i can't modify it but i can always hide the background and hit Control alt shift plus e to make a preview and on this preview i can choose the magic one tool and uh, now it's much more easier to delete the white from there i still have this some uh, areas that I can easily remove them but just for this tutorial sake let's not so let's see how it look like on a t-shirt mm, so nice and cute isn't it again don't place it somewhere here if you only have this without any text it's better to place it somewhere around on the top or you can just uh, increase the size of it and see something that works really nice for you something like this maybe and then here you can have a message that you want to send to your buyers. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you find it useful, click the like button. Also subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. Why? Because we are uploading videos every single day in order to help you to improve your workflow and giving you design tips ideas. So until tomorrow, have a nice day. Bye bye.